Hey guys, it's your girl Natural State of Mind. I just wanted to come on here and do a quick little review for you all. I'm super excited about this product. Um, so I'm doing a review for the Fragrance Bar LLC. I saw their ad on Facebook. So I was just scrolling through, you know, mind of my business, you know how they have their algorithm. So of course they knew I probably wanted to check out some new fragrances. And I have been ordering from Facebook ads a little bit more recently, um, and I haven't had an issue. So I'll continue to until I run into an issue. But this is the fragrance bar. And just lately, I've been wanting to get more into like fragrances. I want to be on my smell good. Um, I've been at department stores like Macy's. I've done um just like bed um bath and beyond i think no child bath and body works i can never remember um the two and separate them but bath and body works like i keep trying all these different things i'm telling you i've spent hundreds of dollars on fragrances i spent over a hundred dollars on one bottle or you know i've even done like cheaper things and I just can't find like that fragrance I love. Like, you know how you just walk past people and be like, oh, you smell so good. And you just want to know what it is. And you got the people that act like they forget and don't know what it is. Or, you know, they'll tell you and maybe it just doesn't work with your body chemistry as much. So I gave it a shot. They had some really good reviews. Plus it's oils. So I was like, why not? Why not? Let's see, let me check out their website. Let me see how much they cost and then I'll make a decision from there. So let's jump right into it because I don't wanna waste any time. I am actually going to unpackage this here. I was really excited. This came earlier and I wanted to unpackage it, but I didn't because I went to the fair and I was like, oh, I should do a review um, because I've never heard of them. But again, I'm not really into the perfumes like that. But I'm like, I wonder how many other people have heard of them. So I don't know if they're black owned, although they had a lot of, you know, black women in their ad, only black women in their ad, you know, judging by the name <laughs> of some of the perfumes. I'm thinking maybe they are, you know, a couple sisters and they're whipping up some stuff because, you know, we are, we not to say we're the only ones, but, you know, we're extra creative and, you know. I'm hoping it is a black owned company that I supported. That would just be a bonus. Um, but let's get right into it. So here's the packaging. I think it's cute. Um, as far as shipping, I ordered this on Friday. No, I'm sorry. I ordered this on Monday, the 8th. Today is Friday and I received it today. So their shipping was definitely on point. And when I ordered it, it was almost eight o'clock at night. And I received a shipping confirmation email the next day. So they were like, boom, right on top of my order. And according to the shipping, I was supposed to receive it tomorrow, which is Saturday. I paid for shipping because you have to. I got the cheapest shipping possible. It said seven to 10 days. I don't remember if it said business days or not, but it did say seven to 10 days, I know for sure. Um, either way, regardless of the fact, I got it early. So I got it super early. The shipping was $4.90. The fragrance oils are $10. So I was like, that's not too bad. I go to markets and stuff and you know, different festivals, they're about the same price. So I ordered two. I ordered two different ones. They don't have like a huge collection. So I'm thinking maybe they just started out or, um, you know, they haven't been around that long, something like that. But I think they only had about four or five, no more than six different fragrance oils. Some, you know, I kind of noticed that they really didn't have like a huge collection, which is fine, but their reviews were very good. So I got the most popular one and then I got another one just because I like the name. <laughs> so I'm going to tell you what it is, but I'm just going into some details. So just trying to rate them overall. So for shipping, A+. Plus. You got my product to me super fast. You communicated with me with the shipping within a day. Um, It came earlier than expected. 
even with the shipping itself i did um send it to my p.o box i don't know if that has anything to do with it i doubt it and it was sent via us um ps so all together for my two fragrances plus shipping i paid 24 dollars 90 and that's not too bad so when it comes to the packaging it's basic it is bubble wrapped and closed envelope i love the gold um especially for it to be such an inexpensive product i feel like they really did put some thought into their shipping and how they wanted to present um, that to their customers so let me get something to open this with y'all know i don't edit no videos so there we go excited okay this must be my invoice oh that's cute so i'm unboxing this this is very nice look at that very good quality the fragrance bar thank you so much for supporting my small business i can't wait to hear how much you love your perfume oils tag us on instagram and facebook and of course they put their information um for a feature on our page don't forget to use our hashtag. Enjoy 5% off your purchase by using the code. And they put a code on here. So that was nice of them. You know, the 5%, that'll probably help out with shipping. All right. Again, you can tell they take pride in their presentation. Because for one, you know, they, they could have used like a basic envelope or something like that to put this in. They chose a gold one that is bubble wrapped, and I like that. They want to make sure their product is secured. I expected this to just be wrapped in basic bubble wrap when I felt it through the packaging, but I see they put time and consideration in this as well. Very pretty. It matches the design on their thank you card. It is bubble wrapped and sealed as well. Nothing is coming out of this. Like, this is glue shut very good a plus for packaging okay i know y'all probably like girl when you gonna tell me what you ordered i'm about to tell you now all right so the two cents that i order is the pussy fairy was one and the other one was called butt naked <laughs> So those are the two that I ordered. Um, I was just reading this to see if it had another message on there. This is super cute. I like that. I appreciate this as a customer. I'm telling you, if you see this review, I can tell that you put time and effort and thought into your presentation of your product. Oh, wow. And these bottles are really cute too. All right. So let's make sure there's no leakage here, which there's not. So the product came in really good condition. Here's the other one. Very good condition. So here is the Pussy Fairy. And no, I'm not lying. It says it right there. All right. It's running a little bit more liquidy. That's the word than most oils I saw, maybe. I don't think it's diluted, I hope it's not, but we'll see. And this one says butt naked. Very cute, heavy duty um, bottles. This is not cheap filling glass. Um, so let's smell it. I'm gonna save the Pussy Fairy for last because this is their number one seller. So I wanna save this one for last. I read a review saying that the butt naked smelled good. So let's do that one first. Okay, so this is how it looks with the ballpoint roll top. It is the metal one. Okay, and I don't know if this is floral, musk, whatever. Y'all, you're gonna have to check that out yourself. Hmm, it smells good. I'm not gonna lie, when I first smelled it just now, like just going like this, it reminded me of that cheap Chinese 
lip gloss back in the day at the 99 cent store if you had 99 cent stores near you that you would rub on your lips and it had that like sweet weird smell chemical kind of like that's what initially it reminded me of it's like lip gloss scented lip gloss kind of like a soapy smell there's something that smells familiar in here kind of like a fruity floral i don't know i'm not the person to um judge that but let's see how it smells on me okay so you can tell it's oil based so you, if you didn't know um do not put oils on your clothes they will stain your clothes and people will have oil marks on them and you're wondering hey why are my clothes having these stains on them? because it's oil it's like taking oil out of a cabinet you're dabbing it on yourself you don't do that I've heard put them on your pulses, like where you would have a pulse. Will it be a good spot? It's sitting on my skin, so it's not really absorbing, you know. So, oil, I don't think it could. See, it, it reminds me, I can't really put my finger on it. It has like a refreshing smell. It kind of has like a, I keep wanting to say soap smell i just can't put my finger on it like it just it's a memory somewhere for me of what this smells like it's strong it's very strong it smells good though like it it settles on me is it my favorite smelling oil that i've smelled before no but it's different it's very very strong so if you're sensitive two smells then this may not be one that you will like but oils are strong anyways because they're highly concentrated there's some kind of fruit smell it's something in here and it's not like a fruity but it kind of is like it's weird to describe but this was not bad i mean i would wear it i don't know how often i would wear it or where i would wear this too this is not really like a work scent. Um, it's not really a going out scent for me. It's maybe a scent that I will wear. I don't. It's not like a date night type scent, you know, if that makes any sense. Um, so I don't know where it's kind of like a pear. That's it. You ever had stuff that smells like? The scent had like a pear type scent in it, in the name, um, like a berry pear. Not like even berry, no, because I don't want to confuse y'all. But I just keep thinking of the word pear. Like that's the mist, like the body mist kind of that it will remind me of. It's refreshing. It's definitely refreshing. So maybe if you're hanging out with your girls, you're having like a sleepover and you want to smell good, um, this may be a scent for that. But I can't really picture me wearing this on a date night. It's not like a sexy scent. Um, to me, it's not like a playful scent. It's not a scent that I would feel like I probably would want to wear to work either. Maybe church. <laughs> Maybe church or something. Um, I will wear this too. Just to have something on. Yeah, something like that. Going to the park with the kids. Maybe. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's not bad for 10 bucks. And I'm trying to rub it off. And it's still on me. But it's highly refreshing um, for the scent. And it's weird because as I'm like popping them open, it's making like a sound. Almost as if they're like a soda carbonated all right whoo the one i've been waiting for pussy fairy everybody's talking about oh i want to touch myself i thought i smelled this and this isn't just for um your man ladies this is for you too or something they said in the reviews but i'm trying to get the other scent out my nose i wish i had some coffee 
to smell, but that's okay. All right. Okay. Instantly what this reminded me of. Oh, hold on, that kind of changed. At first I was thinking of, what's that scent? Sugar. There's an oil that is like a lot, a lot of women love it. And I think it's called sugar and it looks pink too. Pink sugar, maybe it's the name of it. But if you're into the scented oils, you'll know what I'm talking about. That's what it reminded me of initially. But then as I took another whiff, it's a little bit different. This is a fun scent. Hold on. Let's put this somewhere else. So I'm put it over here. And it does roll out very well, both fragrances. Um, it secretes a lot on you. So I'm kind of just do that so I can spread it. So I could definitely taste that sugar oil. I'm going to call it pink sugar. If that's not the name of it, then okay. What else? There's something else in here. Hmm. Okay. It's like they mix two different scents. Like you mix a sweet scent with like a strong floral, like magnolia scent. Or rose. Hmm. Maybe this ain't gonna be a good review for y'all. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's not that it doesn't smell bad, but I think it's like a very particular, like you just, you're gonna love it or hate it. And that's kind of the vibe I'm getting from this. Like you're gonna either love the scent or hate it. It's not really gonna be in between. It's kind of like, eh, I don't really like it like that. Like it just don't sit right with me or you're gonna absolutely love it. Um, I don't see too many people being in the middle. This one's okay. Like, it kind of reminds me of a sweeter butt naked. Like, I'm starting to smell it. I think it's like a rose and sugar smell. It's not bad. Now, granted, I just came from the fair. So maybe I should have did this fresh out the shower, but this one I could see more of wearing it to work, maybe, or, you know, on a date night, possibly, because it's a little bit more of a fun scent. So I could see that still like not to church, not to the park. Um, I could see, you know, a day night or possibly, you know, work somewhere like that. I wouldn't wear it to like a conference meeting. Like there's just certain scents for certain places. And that just wouldn't be one of the ones that I would wear it for. But yeah, it's fun. It's a fun scent. I'm just going back to the pear and <laughs> the butt naked. They're nice. They're nice scents. They're not bad. Um, I think, like I said, with both of them, you're going to love them or hate them. Um, definitely give them a shot. I will be using these. Maybe I'll do an update with them um, to see how I like them after I've worn them all day. Maybe how long the scent lasts on the skin. I read somewhere that somebody uh, said something about putting, was it Vaseline or something like to in the area beforehand before you put the oil on there to make the scent last longer. I don't know if you really would even need to do that because it's so strong and it seems like it will last a long time. But then again, I don't know because I just have to, you know, play around and do some more research and wear it more to tell you guys first. But I'm not disappointed. I'm not disappointed in my order. I thought they were going to smell different. I I thought Butt Naked was going to have a more 
um, sexy smell to it. Like, mm, damn, type of smell to it. And the Pussy Fairy scent, I don't know what I expected, but I expect it just to be wowed. Like, woo, by the name. Now, well, I will say they are very creative with the names. I love the names. I love the marketing. Um, I love the packaging, A plus, A plus for all of that. The bottles, how they are, um, the quality behind the product. I feel like all of that deserves an A plus, a five out of five, 10 out of 10, whatever you wanna do for your scale. The scent. I'd probably give them both about the same. Um which would be a probably like a seven out of 10 um, only because they weren't what I really thought they were smell like. But then again, that could just be me. I didn't really read what was in it because I knew reading like the exact fragrance, um, what the fragrance was made out of wouldn't really matter to me because I'm not a huge person when it comes to knowing that stuff. Um, with perfumes and oils but I'm pretty sure whatever she put down is exactly what this is supposed to smell like but only because I felt like the scent doesn't match the name I probably took off a point or two and then because it wasn't what I thought it would smell like based off the name you know just somebody coming in not really paying attention you know, that's why a point or so was taken off. So I would say maybe like a seven or so out of 10 for the actual scent, for shipping, 10 out of 10, for the packaging, 10 out of 10, for the quality, 10 out of 10, for the bottles and presentation, 10 out of 10. So give them a shot. Um, let me know what you think about the scents. If you have them, she has some other scents on there. Um, like I said, I think there were maybe five or six total possibly four and just let me know what you think like tell me maybe one that you think I would like someone else or what you like about it what it smells like what it reminds you of that way we could all be out here just smelling good and feeling good so that's all I really intended it for this to be short but I'm long-winded and I always make these videos on the spot I don't plan or edit or do anything like that so you see all of it raw and to the point however it was made so i hope you all have a wonderful evening or whatever time it is that you're watching this and just have a blessed day keep your head up i know the pandemic is still going it's been a year now and hopefully everybody is making it through getting back on their feet if you were impacted by it um, economically but you know just be safe out there and i will see you all next time